Hey, are you tired of algae invading your beautiful tank? You're definitely not alone. Algae growth can be a nightmare, but today we're going to uncover the top three reasons why this happens and how you can finally conquer it. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools to keep your tank stunning and algae free. Are you ready? Let's dive in. All right, imagine this. You've just set up your tank and with what you think is perfect lighting, but within a week, your pristine tank is overrun with algae. Frustrating, right? So what's the culprit here? I've been there. When I first started with the aquariums, I thought more light would help my plants flourish. Instead, I ended up with green disaster. Turns out the duration and intensity of your lighting are crucial. So keeping your lights on for more than 8 to 10 hours a day can create a perfect environment for algae to thrive. How long do you keep your tank lights on each day? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your routines. Ever had this happen? You add a beautiful new plant or decoration and suddenly algae starts spreading with like wildfire? It's like a bad dream. I remember the day I brought home a gorgeous new plant, thinking it would add a special touch. But soon after, algae started taking over. High nutrient levels, especially nitrates and phosphates, can trigger rapid algae growth. So be cautious not to overfeed your fish and make sure to regularly change portion of the water. Keep these nutrients in check. Hey, do you test the nutrient levels in your tank water? Share your experiences in the comments below. Now, let's get real about cleaning. Do you know how often you should clean your tank to keep the algae at bay? In my early fish keeping days, I thought cleaning the tank once a month was enough, but I quickly learned that neglecting regular maintenance just invites more algae. Weekly partial changes and scrubbing off any visible algae can make a huge difference. Believe me, staying on top of maintenance is worth it. So what's your tank cleaning routine like? How often do you maintenance? Drop your tips in the comments below. Here is a crucial question. Can the type of fish food you use contribute to algae growth? <laughs> Absolutely. Overfeeding and using certain types of fish food can spike nutrient levels in the water, which feeds the algae. Be mindful to feed your fish just the right amount and avoid overfeeding. I know how disheartening it can be to see your beloved tank turn into an algae jungle. I've left, felt that same frustration and helplessness. But remember, every problem has a solution. You're not just keeping a tank, you're nurturing a vibrant living ecosystem. Your fish and plants depend on you and with the right knowledge, you can create a beautiful thriving tank free from algae. Hey, now you know the top three reasons for algae growth in your tank and how to keep it under control. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more tips on keeping your aquarium healthy and don't forget share your biggest struggle with algae in the comments below we're in this together and together we can keep our tanks beautiful